What is up, everybody? It is Stills to the Kills. And I'm bringing you a 1v3 to start this uh, start this video off. And yes, I know everyone's liking the uh, different kind of game types that I'm showing up. So um, after, after my boy ATD clutches this 1v3, I'm going to be showing you a very nice Modern Warfare 2 S&D match against All Out Damage, the third place, now sixth place in Modern Warfare 2, in an S&D override, 4v4, perks only game. And it was a really, really fun match, I'm not going to lie. And ATD pulling out the 1v3, as I said, if you pull the 1v3, you pull 1v4, even though we had a few today, I'm going to post it up because it's just awesome. When, when you're playing search and a teammate does this, it just brings the whole morale of the team up and just brings your confidence in the team up because it's like, if this one guy can beat three players on the whole entire team, then I'm sure we can win this match and get it over with. But um, yeah, this team I'm playing with now, this isn't hybrid. I decided we're playing, we're playing playoffs. The first playoff match we played, the kids didn't show up. They were two and five or something. I don't even know how they got into playoffs. But we're advancing into the next round for tomorrow night. And tomorrow night we're going to be playing in playoffs. And hopefully I'll be able to post that match up. But right now, here's the Search and Destroy Rundown gameplay. But while I'm taking the break from Hybrid, which I don't know if I'm going to be going back to that, because I think the new team, the new S&D team from Modern Warfare 2 that I've been playing with, uh, it's Deadly Sins basically, but after today, I'm a co-leader on the team. There's only two co-leaders, me and ATD. And after today, we kind of decided that we're going to change the name since this is a new team. This is just like, it's a new beginning for like Modern Warfare 2 people. And it was really weird because I've played with Killspade before. He beat me in a tournament a long time ago, and I didn't even know that he was from Deadly Sins. And I was just like, what's going on? Like, And he sent me an invite to the team. He said, what's going on with Hybrid? And I told him what was happening. And he invited me, and I said, if I can be a co-leader of the team, I'll, I'll come and join. And that's what he did, so... We're just, we went 15 and 1 today. We had one loss because of this one bad kid on our team who's probably going to get the boot, actually. I'm not going to say who he is or anything because he's probably going to cry if he watches this video and finds that out. Um, but yeah, we have one loss to a pretty decent team, but we won 15 matches today and with only one loss. And we beat two top teams. We beat the 11th place Lavender, and we beat this team right here. As you can see, ATD's busting it out. He gets the one kill, and ATD plays like a beast. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you when you watch his game plays, like he he just has really good map awareness. And me and Pip Ups were just talking about this actually right now. We're going, love how ATD plays so good. But this is the starting four. Per, I'm pretty sure for this team for for the new team, and the new team name is High Sins because it's hybrid and Deadly Sins mixed together. So High Sins is our new team name. And I'm pretty excited for it. We're going to try to go number one in Modern Warfare 2 playing Search and Destroy Perks only, which is probably the most competitive It's the most competitive thing on Modern Warfare 2 right now. And it's the most skill. Like, it's not Raider always on, blah, blah, blah. It's not variant or, or map gen, but there's no map gen or variant teams to even get matches right now. So the next best, best thing is Perks only S&D. But this is an MLG variant search, actually. It's two and a half minutes. No, uh, no Akimbo Glocks. And right here... ATD avoids this guy, and that nade almost hits him, but that car protects him. And they've got to clutch it right here. There's 30 seconds left, two guys left, and this is dirty. I'm so glad I switched over to Kill Spade because he's running in. Boom. What did he say? I put the PP on your face, and that's what he just did. He put the PP2000 down. When you want to snipe on this map, if, if you want to, you can uh, just not have one-man army and just put a good machine pistol on. Like The PP2000 is like a primary weapon almost. In my opinion, I rock the extended mags or red dot sight, and it does work. Like when I run out of ammo, I switch to that, and I've got confidence in it. So, and ATD got really lucky when he was planting that bomb that nade didn't kill him. Um, nades, nades are pretty powerful in Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4. I think they're the best grenades, but ATD pulls out the three piece and kills Spade and ATD get the uh, the one v three clutch right here. So, I mean, not one v three. What am I talking about? Two v four clutch. So, me and Piplops. We, uh, we kind of rushed at the beginning. We were trying to be uh, aggressive players, but it didn't really work. These guys do set up pretty well. And right here, uh, we, we kind of call out, and it's weird because when you've never played with a team before, and this was our first time playing together, like all four of us pretty much. Like I know Killspade and ATD have played matches together, but Piplops hasn't played with us. And it was pretty cool because mostly you need to build chemistry with a team before you start 
becoming good or it's just there. But with this team, I think it's just there so far because we've already beaten two top page teams and we just we have really good communication in game. We're calling out everything. We're making sure we know what's going on and it's just it's really good communication. Now we know this guy's back here. I'm I'm kind of looking for him. They tell me to stay back, but I've already pushed past the bridge, so I go for him and look what I pull out. A little PP2000 with the red dot sight. And I'm waiting. I know he's up here, but he wasn't up here, but I thought he would be. And I'm waiting, and out of the corner of my eye, I just happened to see him right here. I don't know if you saw him. I definitely just saw him, though. Eagle Eye. And uh, I get the kill. The PP2000. Look how quick that kills. Like, it's, it's ridiculously fast, and it's a great gun. Like I love it. I'm not going to lie. I am a big fan of the PP. And now right here, I, I choose to be a little sneakier. I'm going to use my Barrett 50 cal with a thermal with the PP2000, and we're going to try to make something happen on offense. Now, the reason why I picked the, the 50 cal with a thermal is, first of all, the 50 cal usually one-shots kids, and I try to go look at the, the Jeep to see if the kid's going to make the same mistake and go to that spot where he killed me off the bat. But these guys are a top page team, and they know a little better, that's for sure. So he didn't go there, but... The 50 cal is really good just because it has lots of stopping power. Thermal's great on it. And if you're up close and you do just have your sniper, there is a chance that you can just spray the hell out of your right trigger and you'll still get the kill if it's up close. But it's it's a really good snipe. And I, I like the intervention and stuff, but it's just not my choice for, for clan matches. Now, I see everyone's pushing up, so immediately I, uh, I go across the left bridge. And... A funny thing is, um, I'll tell you right after this, this little kill feed right here on the side switch, but I have a funny story about some of the people who watch my videos. <laughs> now right here, I almost, get, I almost get turned on even though he turned around and heard me. And that's the PP right there. Piplups thought I was going to die, but I rock out the extended mag and I get the kill. And we're pushing even harder right here. And I know this guy's going to run back to the half wall. I've just got a feeling. And my gun comes in handy one more time. Boom. 50 plus get those points and this is great xp for us if we beat this team we get like 175 xp for the ladder and i think we're about 30th place right now but we're going to be top page definitely in a few days here so um i'm pushing through the middle pushing through the middle atds atds going to grab the bomb i'm like we got to make this happen we've only got 56 seconds so let's try to get that down right now the other guy is aware and he's watching b bomb he actually has a pretty good prediction of where we're going to go but i actually see right away where he shot him from and it's almost perfect timing to get that last kill with the hip fire let's go um but yeah a funny story about my subscribers is i've been playing some subscribers and matches and i actually got my first loss to my subs one of my subscribers and on the first map i only got two kills because he knew all the spots i was going to he literally sniped my head out of one of my head glitches and told me he's like yeah i saw your video i know where you go and then I played I Jeffy from Lavender, and he knows my routes on Underpass, and he was just stuffing me like. So it kind of sucks when I, I post my videos because my opponents play against me, and it's mostly people who watch GB who play my stuff. So I've got to be careful with giving out my spots, but just got to switch through it and battle through it. But it does kind of suck when people kind of use your routes and stuff, but it's whatever. Um, but here we go. I get the last game winning kill and these guys leave the room fast. Stills kills. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace. I, I swear, you, you should have seen what I did to that kid. I need to start capping more at 40.